Hello, welcome to the video. And as you guys know, Battlefield 2042 is out. And so I have released a simple recoil Lua script that you can utilize. All right. For you to download it, simply go to my website. All right. Go to the member page over here. You're going to have to log in. So log in with Google, Facebook, or just log in with your email, whatever you want to do. As you can see, I have logged in. All right. And now, as you can see over here, I have a few applications that I can download for free. So what you guys want to download is simple recoil, all right? You're going to download simple recoil. It's going to download as a zip file. You're going to extract it to your desktop. So I have extracted it to my desktop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Logitech G Hub. Okay. You're going to go to the active profile over in the top. Click on desktop over here. And now you're going to, you guys are going to see all your profiles. All right. So now you guys are going to look for your Battlefield 2042. If Battlefield 2042 is not here in any way, all right, I'm actually going to look to see if it's here. Uh, I can't see it. Oh, right there. Now that's the open better. What you guys can do is you guys can simply have this recoil macro into your desktop um, profile. Okay. So what uh, you guys are going to do is you guys can come here to scripting. Click over here in this little symbol. You guys are going to click on active Lua script. And as you guys can see, I already have the simple recoil script, but I'm going to create a new one so I can show you guys. I'm going to create a new Lua script. And then what you guys are going to do is over here at the top right, you're going to type the name of the Lua script. I'm going to put simple battlefield script. All right. I'm going to click save. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the script. I'm going to import. And I'm going to simply import my actual Lua script. And there you go. For this to work, all you're going to do is you're going to press non-lock on your keyboard. Okay. Make sure non-lock is activated. You don't need to keep pressing it. Just turn it on. Okay. And non-lock should be on on your keyboard. All right. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to press your aiming button and your, your shooting button all together. And it's going to work. All right. So I'm going to save this. And there you go. All right. Make sure you save it. Save it first. And then it should work properly, as you guys can see. If you think it's too much recoil, you can simply lower the mouse, move mouse relative. You can move, lower this number right here. Okay. To one. And it's going to decrease the amount of recoil. If you think it's too little, you can increase this by three. Or if you want to increase something else, you can also increase or decrease sleep. As you can see over here, it's 10 milliseconds of sleep. So I can decrease it to 5, and it's going to go down much faster. Okay? I can decrease it to 1, it's going to go down much, much faster. Okay? Or I can increase it to like 50, for example. And it's going to take a long time to move, as you can see. It's taking a very long time. All right? Uh, I'm going to usually leave it at 10. That's what I like. 10 is usually good. And I like to leave it at 2. All right? There you go. That's usually really good for me. That's usually really good for Battlefield in general. Okay. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe.